Professor Dave and Chegg here. We know a bit about carboxylic acids and their properties. So now it's time to learn about some different kinds of reactions that they can participate in, which will have a lot of synthetic utility. Let's check a few out now. The first reaction we will examine is the conversion of carboxylic acids into acid chlorides. The reagent that will achieve this is thionyl chloride, or SOCl2. As we can see here, OH is replaced with Cl, first via a chlorosulfite intermediate, which the chloride attacks. Carboxylic acids can react in similar fashion with themselves to generate acid anhydrides. If this oxygen from acetic acid attacks the carbonyl carbon of another molecule of acetic acid at very high temperatures, acetic anhydride will be generated. Another useful reaction is the conversion of carboxylic acids into esters. This is quite simple. The carboxyl group is deprotonated by some base, and then although the negative charge is delocalized, if a very good electrophile is present, such as iodomethane, the carboxylate can act as a nucleophile, kicking off the iodo group in SN2 fashion to generate the methyl ester. Another method of converting carboxylic acids into esters is Fischer esterification. This is acid catalyzed, so the carbonyl oxygen is protonated, and then an alcohol can attack the activated carbonyl carbon. After shuffling some protons around and the loss of water, we end up with the relevant ester, where the alkoxy group is derived from the alcohol that initially attacked. All of the steps in this mechanism are reversible, so reaction conditions must be selected to deliberately drive the equilibrium in one direction or the other. Excess alcohol present as the solvent for the reaction drives things towards the ester, while excess water in solution drives things back towards the carboxylic acid. To briefly mention a few other reactions, Carboxylic acids can be converted into amides by using dicyclohexyl carbodiimide, or DCC, plus an amine. This is a key technique for generating peptide bonds between amino acid residues in the laboratory. Carboxylic acids can also be reduced by strong reducing agents to generate primary alcohols. These would be reagents like lithium aluminum hydride, or LiAlH4. Using borane in THF will also achieve this transformation. With that, we have learned quite a few reactions that carboxylic acids can undergo, many of which have tremendous utility in the lab. Professor Dave for Chegg. See you next time.